Fragment 1 Welcome to what will be the first in a series of hummed fragments, each a broken record of things as they are, and yet, retrospectively, a record of things as they were. A circadian hum... A diurnal hum... A hemmed hum vibrating isotropically out in waves from us in here, and gathered through transmission lines and wires and cables and electromagnetic fields flowing through a cord and another cord and another cord to a motherboard and another motherboard and another motherboard unfolding vibrating isotropically rippling into you to you to you in there from us in here to you in to in to in to invocation in to in to intertwining of two in to in to in to in to your ears in this our new interior of worlds and worlds and worlds swirl before us real for us world for us interior for us for us inferior for us for us forever for now for us from us for us us as Ice. Ice. So. Ice. So. Ice. So tropic. Ice. So tonic. Isobathic, isopathic, eyes empathic, eyes so pathetic, so bathetic, frenetic, blocked, you so locked, we so locked, eyes so log and eyes so long to log what's wrong. Is so I so I so I so static, you so static, eyes so static, eyes so isolatable, so relatable, so static, so stand up and hum, stand up and hum. So, eyes so, eyes so. You bow, we bow. You so, I so. We so, in so, insulated world. Contour lines traced, equal points, connected in contoured curves, coupling us between our points 
all of our individual points of scattered nodes, far flung and shimmering in distant cartogram, a panorama connected through depths, a topographical chart traced, interspaced, interlaced empathy, interspersed and empathic, isobathic, isomatic, cries of pragmatic, paradigmatic, bureaucratic, and unable to roam in the hum of home lapsing into syndrome. Describing great mathematical arcs as you modulate. Too odd you relate and interpolate your substrate as meat. A thing of physicality, topicality, topographically meet and stretch your feet in front. Meet, confront, confirm your body. Conform your naughty, meaty body. And now describe Vitruvian arcs with your arms as you fold and bend forward in order to wrench and stretch your hands, clean churn and understand your hands, exhort those, extend pose out to your toes as far out as your body allows, bows and arouse. The tensile pull like religious vows. Feel it in your posterior, from trunk to limb. Feel it deep in your limb. slowing to your core, so straight upon the floor, limp fate upon the floor, some inner state upon the floor, and breathe and unbreathe upon the floor, like gum upon the floor, like some unknown numb hum within the war and become the waves upon the shore that gave everything to the folklore. To explore and explode and explain and exploit, annex, plot and plane and played and blank and blazon sank upon the floor, strum and thrum and hum upon the floor. thought that isolation was a face in a phone along a busy street. Untold faces in untold phones. Busy streets upon untold busy streets of untold and untoward busy people. Isolated. One-dimensional points on a two-dimensional line. Sliding around past each other with anonymous ambiguity and peculiarly incongruity. Then in nearly an instant, the line fractured. 
and we all fell out in separate static points, self-isolated points all around the sphere. Something three-dimensional and yet zero-dimensional in feel, as in how it feels. How it feels all the way down below the heart and below the belly and even below the guts, somewhere deeper, somewhere where you feel the loss of innocence when it is lost, somewhere where you feel the loss of connection when you lose one of the only two things every human thought and every artwork and every thing is about, connection human connection. And but maybe it is the same isolating technology, a one-dimensional point on a two-dimensional line, then writ slightly differently. When writ in a world of self-isolated points outside of any kind of line, it brings us all back together through digital fiber optic networks a type of previously derided link that currently has blossomed into our only algorithmic bridge of connection to each other and another, each other and other, and other together to gather to other and one another. And when we as humans are together, that technology isolates. And yet when we are isolated, it brings us together. To gather together, whether together alone or alone together to weather. And let your sense of self slosh and softly shove and slide endlessly reside. Try to materially, I so imperially, I so matically, I so gladly out in any and every direction and keep flowing in and every connection and moving, showing, improving, soothing and glowing out in any and every connection. Feel your limbs. Feel the way the floor pushes against your body in an equal and opposite reaction. And pull those limbs in tight and fill those lungs all full and hold your breath. And now, as we conclude this first fragment, please stay there in that same position breath a held laying impelled upon your floor until the next time we gather to be alone together which dear loved and shoved ones will be tomorrow and every day here and there and after hereafter there until we fail to do so which will be sooner than later until tomorrow We send armless hugs and blankless stares from all of us to all of you.